So, in this final lecture, we will prove the Odesson's metrization theorem. So, let us begin. So, let x be a regular uh, and second countable topological space. Right. So, recall that regular recall that regular meant that uh, we can separate points and closed subsets by disjoint open sets and second countable meant that x has a basis whose cardinality is uh, countable and in one of the previous lectures we had proved that this these two assumptions imply that x is normal right so then x is metrizable right in other words we can put a metric on x such that uh, the topology uh, induced by the metric, the topology induced by the metric. So, in other words, this means that we can put a metric on x such that the topology generated by the metric is the same as the topology on x that we started with. So, let us see how to prove this. So, the idea is to use uh, what we proved in the previous lecture that Rn, the countable product of R, is metrizable, right? as R n is metrizable, it suffices to produce a continuous map f from x to R n such that one f is an inclusion and two uh, when we look at f from x to f of x so this f is an inclusion so this is going to be a bijection right so this is an open map so this is a bijective continuous map and f is also open right so that will mean that there is a homeomorphism right so here f of x has the subspace topology from R n. Right. So, the subspace topology from R n is induced by the metric because the top product topology on R n is induced by the metric as we saw and uh, this will imply that the topology on f of x is given by a metric but f from x to f of x is a homeomorphism that will mean that the topology on x is also coming from a metric. Okay. So, uh, or equivalently uh, we have embedded this f is going to give an embedding of x into Rn and um, okay. so let b be accountable basis for the topology on x. This is because x is assumed to be second countable, right? So, consider pairs v comma u such that v comma u are both basic open sets and v closure is contained in u. So, by Urson's lemma, there exists, okay, there is a continuous function f sub v comma u from x to 0 1 such that f sub v comma u of v closure is equal to 1 and on x minus u this is equal to 0. 
ok. So, uh, we have uh, so the collection of such pairs where V closure is contained inside U that is a so first of all we have many such pairs right because given any point x we can first take a basic open set U inside that then as x is normal well x is regular and second countable and we have proved that it means x is normal we can find first one open subset v inside x as that v closure is contained inside u and inside this v we can take a basic open set w which contains x. So, then w closure is also going to be contained inside u right. So, there are many such open sets there are many such pairs right, but at most they are going to be countable because v is in a countable set and u is in a countable set and a product of countable sets is countable. So, uh, we have a countable collection. of continuous maps from x to r yeah so we put these together to get a continuous map right. So, using the product using the property of giving a map to the product. So, we get this map f from x to product over all these pairs u comma v r right this is a count. So, v comma u such that v closure is contained in u right and uh, what is this map given a x it goes to this f v comma u. there is a countable product. Right. And uh, there is a countable product. So, therefore, this is I mean we can enumerate such pairs and then this is going to be equal to R n right. And therefore, this the product topology over here is coming from a metric because of our previous theorem. Okay. So, clearly ok this map is continuous we have already observed that right. So, let us prove that this is an inclusion right. So, if x is not equal to y and both these are points in x. So, then there exists basic open sets uh, v comma u such that x is in v is contained in v closure is contained in u and y is not in u right. So, we can just take this x and this y we can first start with u over here and then we can find v ok. So, then f v comma u of x is equal to 1 and f v comma u of y is equal to 0 ok. So, thus these two points f of x and f of x and f of y differ in the v uth coordinate right which implies that f of x is not equal to f of y ok. This shows that this map is an inclusion right. So, this implies f is an inclusion right and next we need to show that x to f of x we have this f and this is an open map right. So, what do we have to show? So, that is 
given u in x which is open we need to show that f of u is open in f of x yeah f of x has a subspace topology right where f of x has the subspace topology. So, to do this, it suffices to show that if x is a point in u then there is an open set y contained in this product such that f of x belongs to y intersected f of x this is contained in f of u right so our aim is to show that f of u is open so let's say this is our f of u so given any point uh, in f of x right we are going to show that there is this open subset in so y intersection f of x that is open in the subspace topology which is completely contained inside this f of u. So, that is what we have to show right ok. So, for this find basic open sets w and w prime such that x belongs to w is contained in w closure is contained in w prime is contained in u right and consider the projection pi w comma w prime so from this product u v comma u's to the w w prime quadrant right yeah. So, w w prime also occurs the pair w w prime also occurs in this collection of pairs because uh, w closure is contained in w prime and these are basic open sets right. So, therefore, so this is so this map is ok. So, we have this is the projection map and let y be equal to pi w comma w prime inverse of 0 infinity. So, then y is open in this product. Okay. So, by definition of f, when we look at the composite x to f, project to w w prime this composite is exactly f w w prime right and as so as x belongs to w closure this implies f w w prime of x is equal to 1 which is in 0 infinity right but this f is equal to pi w w prime of f of x right and this is in 0 infinity this implies f of x belongs to pi w w prime inverse of 0 infinity this is equal to y right. So, this implies that f of x is in y intersected f of x right. So, that proves this include this part. 
So, now let us prove the this inclusion. So, suppose f of a is in y intersected with f of x, right. So, this implies that uh, so this implies that f of a is in pi w w prime. inverse of 0 infinity which implies that pi w w prime composed f of a belongs to 0 infinity right which is same as saying that f of w w prime of a is in so now recall note that uh, f w w prime of w closure is equal to 1 and f w w prime on x minus w prime is equal to 0 right. So, therefore, since f w w prime of a is in 0 infinity, so this implies that f sorry this implies that a has to be in w prime w prime and w prime is contained in u. So, as a belongs to u, this implies that f of a belongs to f of u, right. So, thus, uh, so thus we have proved that y intersection f of x is contained in f of u, right. So, this proves that. f of u is open. So, this completes the proof of this theorem. So, uh, we will end this lecture here and this also brings uh, our course to an end. Thank you very much.